budgets for bridges and teachers and firefighters and roads have been slashed to the bone. So why are taxpayers' dollars going to some rich people who get them simply not to farm? ABC's senior political correspondent John Carl is on our Washington watchdog beat tonight. It doesn't look much like farm country, but 290 people in New York City received federal farm subsidies last year. One of them, Mark Rockefeller, heir to one of the most celebrated fortunes in American history. Mr. Rockefeller, who lives in Manhattan, received nearly $330,000 in taxpayer farm money over the past 10 years, apparently for the property he owns on the Snake River in Idaho. It includes an upscale fishing lodge. They get 500 bucks a day just for fly fishing. And get this, the $330,000 he's received from the government is called a conservation payment. That means he's paid not to farm his land. There are city slickers like Rockefeller all over the country on the farm subsidy dole. In Chicago last year, 734 farmers got $2.2 million in federal subsidies. In Miami, 203 people received a total of $2.5 million in farm subsidies. In San Francisco, 179 farmers got $1.1 million. The list goes on. Unfortunately, folks that live in cities like Manhattan or San Francisco that are absentee landlords and are very wealthy are taking our tax dollars and using them to help pad their bottom line. We tried several times to get a hold of Mark Rockefeller. I'm calling about the money that Mr. Rockefeller receives. Isn't it time for this to end? It is time for it to end. The more you find out about this government, the, the more absurd it is. Absurd or not, the city slickers are still getting their payments. Jonathan Carl, ABC News, Washington.